Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Will and we are back with some more Genshin Impact today. And we are going to be continuing the event. Uh, we're kind of like right at the second chapter of the event. So we're going to go through that and hopefully all the way through through the third chapter. And then after that, we'll kind of see where we're at. Um, honestly, getting Primo Gem is definitely significantly slowed down. Because we haven't really been exploring much, because exploring, obviously, finding new treasure chests all over the place, obviously helps us boost our Primo Gem uh, intake a lot. I'm sorry, I had to double check some stuff. Okay, we're all good. Alright. Let's go here. Quests. I'm falling a little bit. Alright. We still have desert quests to do for fuck's sake <laughs> all right really that's the next spot Away. We will probably need some sort of ability. Anyone? Anyone? Bueller? We have not been down here yet, really. I just have to re remember. Am I fighting the right person? He's like really not attacking or doing much. Actually, I have I believe we ran into another one of those little water this water spirit right in front of us before not this exact one but a similar one I would not trust her with my weapons. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, cutscene. <gasps> Interesting. It looks like an air pocket has opened up. Might have wanted to explore the space a little bit more. <laughs> Hello. Oh, there we go. Kind of random and weird. Some of the main forces you should be fighting is water elementals in the area where you're given the water ability. It's like that makes the main character so fucking useless for like a lot of the interesting things. Because usually they try to aim it so like you can use your ability a lot in this territory, but it's like so much of the underwater stuff is super fun. But like running into water elementals all over the place is just like why? <sighs> Like, I get it, but at the same time, come on. They didn't have to have 100% immunity against water. Like, I don't know, give them, like, some sort of, like, physical, like, crystalline core. So you can, like, justify taking elemental damage of some sort. Good duck. Good I seriously do not understand the timing of the autoplay when it comes to text. Like, they seriously... I don't even know why I say they should fix it. It's been three years, they're never gonna fix it. Like, short sentences stay on there for 30 seconds after it's done. And then long sentences just, like, immediately disappear once it's finished. It's like, for fuck's sake. Autoplay, you suck when it comes to just straight-up text. Water rose. Good golly gosh. <laughs> I was not expecting this to be, like, the story for today. I thought we'd still be dealing with, like, the mechanics and stuff up in the city. 
Who knows, maybe I selected the wrong one. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Yeah, see, okay, he does count as a rock dragon. Or Samaru's. Yeah, it sucks. We never got to fight a dragon in, uh, in Azuma because the Shogun already killed it. I hope there'd be an event at some point where we, where, like, another dragon shows up in, in Azuma and we have to take care of it. That'd be super sick. That would be a super cool event. Um, we fought a lot of dragons. We're best buddies now. He occasionally takes us on trips out into the ocean in the summertime for vacation fun. Honestly, I think the uh, dragon from Samaru is probably my favorite one. Whenever there's like a plant growth elemental type character, that's always like my go-to. Those are always cool. It's either that or like, you know, electricity is pretty dope usually as well. Oh yes, the uh, One Piece live action finally dropped today, and I was able to watch the uh, first two episodes. They really leaned into the surrealist <laughs> kind of vibe in that show. Which I think really works for One Piece, since it's like a surrealist piece of like uh, writing. A lot of shonen is, but like One Piece really pushes it. And I've been seeing a lot of videos of like, why One Piece will be better than the uh, Cowboy Bebop adaptation and stuff. And it's just like, I thought the Bebop show was actually pretty good. People just need to get the fucking sticks out of their ass and be like, it's not going to be the anime. They said it from the beginning. And then everyone was pissed when it wasn't the anime. It's like, they repeatedly told you this. Yeah. <laughs> A shame that Bebop got cancelled. Hopefully One Piece does better. From the first two episodes, it was interesting. Like, if you ever watch, like, Japanese movies or TV, you know that there's, like, a certain level of, like, cheesiness that you get from it that isn't really in a lot of Western shows. And you definitely get that from the One Piece adaptation. So, who knows if people will like it or not. I mean, like, if you watch the Aroni Kenshin live action, it's a pretty solid series. I really like those movies, but there's still, like, that level of, like, cheesiness to them, where it's like, you just need to accept it and move on. And I can guarantee there's going to be so many people pissed about the One Piece live action. It's so bad, it's so terrible. It's like, yeah, well then, guess what you can do? Fuck off. <laughs> I honestly uh, haven't looked up any people's like reactions or reviews of it since it dropped. I'm afraid. <laughs> because I know if everyone's negative on it, it's like, well, cool. That's getting cancelled immediately like Bebop did. Although they did something cool where uh, at the beginning of each episode, they have a different font. Or not a different font, like a different logo. And it's stylized over, like, the one of the main focuses of the episode. So the first episode's Luffy. Second episode is more stylized for, like, Buggy the Clown. And then the third episode, I started a little bit of it, is focused more on Usopp. And I'm surprised. It's only eight episodes. I thought it was, like, ten or twelve. But, uh... 
pretty interesting. Definitely, I'd say episode one is kind of rough because they do something that drives me nuts. Where it's like, here's a minor character that's got like maybe a handful of lines and they just got like an actor to do it. When like this person is supposed to be like a huge muscular dude and it's like you have a handful of lines. <laughs> just find a freaking jacked dude to deliver those lines. And then they're like, nah. He's the guy that played Axe Hand Morgan. He was nowhere near as jacked as I was hoping that they'd get for an actor for him. So it's like, oof, makes me fear for future characters. <laughs> Although, to be fair, a lot of characters in One Piece are very oddly shaped. So it's like, okay, I accept that they have to do some more realistic things for certain characters. But like, something as simple as Axe Hand Morgan, it's like, he's just supposed to be like a tall jacked dude. And then they just got an average height kind of in shape guy it's like bro come on i'm pretty sure you can find a muscular guy that can at least deliver the handful of lines you needed why that's why i'm afraid when we get to the uh fishman which i have yet to see I'm like i swear to god if like arlong's gonna be like an average height dude and gangly i'm gonna be so pissed He's like, he's supposed to be big and imposing. And you know what's not big and imposing? An average height dude that's not that muscular. <laughs> I mean, even Alvita wasn't, like, that heavy set. And I don't know if it was, like, I don't know why they just didn't get a heavy set actress. Unless they were trying to do, like, oh, they'll put makeup on her and then... She's actually thin, and they put heavy makeup on her just so when she comes back around, if they do that plot line, they could just remove the makeup. Who knows? I don't know. Like I said, I like just started episode three and didn't get too far into it. Well, yeah, so, some of the stuff I've already seen in it is like, oh, the internet's gonna murder this show because like it's a surrealist TV show. And a lot of the time, surrealist films, movie films love it, but like normal audiences are like, what is this shit? <laughs> and that's what I fear that the One Piece live action is going to be. Kind of like Legion that was on FX, which was the adaptation of Legion from the X-Men. I fucking love that show so goddamn much. And I'm kind of sad it only had like three seasons. But it was crazy and weird. Alright, not really seeing much around the back. Oh, hey, here we go. Actually, I don't even remember. And it drives me nuts that we don't have a money value anywhere here. Um, Not this. Oh, yeah, I saw who's coming on the next card. Uh, Rex Lapis is going to be one of them. And I might pull for him, since we don't have any of the Archons, which is fucking mind-blowing. Obviously, I'd prefer, like, out of all the Archons, it's still Shogun's number one for me that I want to get. Well, I suppose this will do. But, uh, yeah, who knows whenever uh, she's going to come back on a card, so... Plus, I've seen quite a few people use uh, Rex Lapis as a, maybe not a main, but they like usually use them within their uh, setup. And he's supposed to be pretty solid. And I remember when I did use him for, it was like some like story event where it was, we were talking about the, I think it was the Goddess of Salt. We got to play as him a little bit, and he seemed pretty solid. I mean, his alt is literally raining down, doing Meteor from Final Fantasy, which is fucking sick. At some point, I should probably go to other areas and check out the backgrounds for them, now that we have unique backgrounds for in here. Which, again, three years in, and this is the first time someone's thought, maybe we should make these backgrounds not hella boring. <laughs> Need to end a few enemies? Oh yeah, and we still haven't seen Child really come back. Or anything. 
No! Why did I do that? Oh my god, there is a lot of them. You're mine. No, nope, wrong button. Crap, what was it? Freaking Zelda has gotten has screwed me over so bad. Wait, what? Oh, I just realized there's two buttons to do this. Oh, wait, no, that's not a surprise. What am I talking about? Oh yeah, and I believe Star... I think Starfield's out today, or Early Access is out for it today. So, I can't wait to uh, check that out, because... Even though Bethesda historically has never made a game I've ever been able to get super into, I'm still down to try Starfield. Just because, you know, space game. I love sci-fi. Yeah, you know, like, who knows? We'll see. I'll watch some gameplay of it, see if anyone, uh, if I uh, get into it, maybe I'll pick that up. No time to lose. Starfield. I hope it's good. Like, I've tried multiple Fallouts, multiple, um, Elder Scrolls, just never could get into them. I even played through the entirety of Prey from a few years ago, when they decided to, like, kind of reboot that series. And I played through the whole game. I thought it was interesting. I thought the world was interesting, but that was it. Like, none of the gameplay or characters really grabbed me, and I'm like... This is the exact kind of game that I would just watch on YouTube instead of playing the game. Or it's like, some of the story and the world is the most interesting part. So it's like, eh, I can just watch it as a movie. Alright, what's going on here? We got some bubbles. Oh, that's a solid bubble. Dude, I'm a little disappointed that there wasn't much- oh shit. Picked up too many songs. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, son. For some reason, American Horror Story just popped in my head, and I'm like, oh yeah, I haven't watched that in I think two seasons. That's still going. <laughs> I need to uh, catch up and see where where that's going. Some, like wa fighting some water elementals with some water <laughs> that will definitely work out all right whatever we'll skip past these guys um there is a something here that we need to get Fudge. ah no shit i didn't realize we were that low right there let's go grab that um i can't remember what we're up to i think we've turned domain right at the end of last stream i think and we needed like what six or seven or something like that yum yum good <laughs> I eat just like a regular human. Yum yum good. <laughs> oh nice. Nice. Another one. <gasps> no! Oh, fricks. Rack. Ooh, I wonder if I go... Into this form, can they get me? Oh. Oh, I just... Oh! 
Oh, okay. So I have to interact with it and then it will I'll be able to permanently stop it. I'm still waiting for uh the Kamisato brother show up in rotation again because again like i really want to get the both the kamisato siblings on a team because i feel like they would be able to really dominate together She'll treasure this good fortune. sworn he had a heal somehow one of his abilities gave him health back maybe it was part of one of the artifacts i had on him and i removed it or maybe it was part of the sword shit was that an ability of his old sword that i didn't realize that's true it has oh shit there's a uh photo Thing over there okay we should probably go back and do that um yeah man dude it's just so like frustrating keeping running into fucking water elementals when we're in the water area i've barely been able to use main boy's water abilities at all just because we keep running into these assholes that are like immune to it okay you know what let's go noel oh how exciting <clears throat> we really not have not used noel at all so I want to start using her some more because she has a shield and she has some heal. So she can work as a healer, but she also does quite a bit of damage too. So um, actually, uh, I haven't like since I haven't used Noelle in a while. Let me check her weapons. We might be able to give her something better. Um, let me check right now to see what is the best sword because I might be able to swap this one out for this one. Which is the one that we had on Day Luke. So let's see here. Um, wow, I cannot type today. <laughs> Engine Impact. Oh well. Build. Game 8 is the number one that pops up. Thanks, Google. All right, let's see here. What is her best weapon? Obviously, it's a five star. Oh, wait, why don't I have it equipped? Holy shit, I have it, but I don't have it equipped to her. Why did I change weapons? This is her third best weapon that you can have. The first best weapon is a five star, which we don't have. Actually, you know what? Let's do some weapon trading. We have this on uh, Ito right now. We're not going to be using Ito. So I'm just going to give this to Noelle. This is her number two slot. It's a little bit weaker. Um, Let's see here. Can we level it up? Ah, no, I need to... Okay, I just need to get this. And then I can level it up again. But 
it's still pretty good. I'm mainly using her for healing. So. Actually, yeah. Is there... A support build? Oh! Shit! Okay, my bad, my bad. No, 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 no. Okay. Um, I was looking at if we were doing her as a DPS. My bad. Okay. So if we do her as a support, we do need her to have that other weapon. Uh, this is actually her number two. This is her number one. This is her number two. And then number three is this one. And that's all she has. If she's playing like more of a healer support role. Okay, so we're good. We're good on this. I need to make more of these. This is one of the few weapons we can make with the blacksmith. And I need to get more of these so we can refine it better. Um, can we level this up? Oh, these. Those, okay. Okay, sweet. So we're actually in a pretty good position. We gotta... Alright. I wish Noelle would get another outfit. Once again, she's like... I feel like all the characters... Like, characters should get outfits based on, like, when they were introduced. And, like, when you first started playing Genshin on PlayStation, she's... She was, like, the first person in the shop. Once you do your first pull, you're guaranteed a Noelle. So it's like, I feel like she should definitely get another outfit. Like, pretty soon. She should have already had one. Shit snacks. I'm in a box. I'll catch up. Shit. No, no, I accidentally hit it again. So interesting. Okay, if I hit it a second time, it does turn off. Dang it. Oh my god, what is wrong with me? Turn, buddy. But anyway, back to the previous conversation of the One Piece live action. I'm trying to think here, uh... Steady as stone. I'll catch up. She does have, like, a good heal to her. Plus, the shield is super protective, so we're not worrying about having to heal her as well. Um... So far, the actors, as the main actors, I think they're doing pretty good. Some of the set design is it feels like a stage play which i think feeds into the surrealist feel of it like if you've seen surrealist films or something sometimes it kind of gives the vibe of like this feels like this should be a play on stage kind of vibe to it and that's definitely what a lot of the sets feel like But I would definitely say out of like, like I said, I only watched the first two episodes. The first episode was definitely the hardest to really get into. Just because I, I can't tell like if it's the actors or what, but there was some cinematography in the first episode that was just fucking weird. Like there were like a lot of needless like close ups on people's faces when you could have just been back a bit more. Like, like, there was just some weird choices directorially in the first episode. And then some line deliveries that seemed like... How can I explain it? It feels like it was a dramatic reading. Except the camera was solely focused on that person. And it's like... I, I don't know. It just felt off. And then also... One of the most annoying things that, like, most people don't even think about. Like... Uh... Obviously, if you're doing a scene... Where it's like actors and they're moving these big crates and they're supposed to be heavy. So you're supposed to act like the crates are heavy. It's like things like that that felt off where it's like you're lifting up this barrel that's supposed to be full of water. And like your body's not properly like leaning into it. It's like when someone has a cup of coffee on a TV show and it's like there's clearly no coffee in, the, in that cup based on how you're whipping it around. It's like got no weight to it. 
Uh, unfortunately, there was like a lot of weird stuff like that happening with both the main, the, like the foreground actors and the background actors. And even with like some of the fight scenes, it felt like, I, I don't know, maybe it was like the way the camera was placed. It was not getting the full weight of like the hits that were supposed to be like, oh, this supposed to be like heavy hit. But instead, it just kind of feels like, like literally it feels like a play on stage where it's like clearly they're not like trying to do a super intense fight. Like some of the shots were super good in the fight scenes, but then there were some where it's just like, what are you doing? It, it was a very, I'd say it's a very mixed bag when it came to the first episode. Second episode I felt was like much better. Especially they went with Buggy the Clown for the second episode, which like, duh, that's how it goes in the sh in the uh, manga and anime. But I actually kind of like the slight changes they made to him. We'll see how it plays out further on because they're clearly making tweaks to the story so it works better. And so far, nothing's been like insanely like, oh, this is terrible. But yeah, the way that they changed Buggy was interesting and it'll be interesting to see if they continue with that or if his uh, character changes throughout. Because they definitely made Buggy, I'd say, a lot more menacing somewhat in the live action than he was in the anime. Which I'm actually kind of down for. Plus the stupid humor that they use with him, I actually really liked. And it's one of those things where it's like, I hate myself for liking this, but whatever. But yeah, it kind of blew my mind how fast they kind of ran through some stuff within the first two episodes. And I'm like, wow. It's only eight episodes, but like they already got through a significant amount of the opening within the first two episodes. It'll be interesting to see like where it ends. Kind of just because like obviously One Piece is a super long series, which isn't even finished yet. And even if they had like or five seasons of the live action show. I don't even know if they'd even get to the time skip part. Even though they're going at a very fast pace, I'd say. Going behind enemy lines. I just need a box to sneak in. <laughs> Oh yeah, I also need to look into the uh, Five Nights at Freddy's movie that's coming out. I know there's a live action movie coming out. I have not seen anything on it. Uh, I've not been a big fan of the series ever. Like I've never played any of them. I'm not really interested in any of them. But I know it's a super big deal for a lot of people. So I really want to see the movie to see how that goes. Especially since it kind of kicked off the whole mascot horror thing. Or like, you know, child nostalgia horror, where it's like, here's the thing that like you remember from your childhood and then you turn into a horrible monster. Which I don't know, it feels overdone. There's one, I, I think it's a game that came out recently where it's supposed to be like Sesame Street. Except, you know, Five Nights is Freddy's a fide, where it's like it's basically Sesame Street, except if all of them are like psychotic murderers or some shit i can't remember the name of it but it re i think it recently came out i'm like 99 percent sure it's a game and not like a movie <laughs> sometimes it's hard to remember there's there's like a lot of like those mascotty horror movies or horror just in general like that whole winnie the pooh movie that came out not too long ago that's supposed to be winnie the pooh but if it was like a horror which i actually do want to watch that because that seems fucking insane <laughs> Okay, actually, we have not went to that bubble over there, so let's go to that one. And uh, then we will continue forward. Okay, what's anything in here? Wait a second. And yeah, uh, tomorrow we will be finishing up Shadow of the Colossus. No big surprise there. Uh, we only have the final five left. Which I uh, can't wait to get to. 
then yeah yesterday <laughs> it's like i remember the first five i remember the final five but then the middle six is always like i can never remember their order and one of them i just straight up forgot was even a thing in the game and i'm like oh yeah i've played that game many times throughout the years and there's still like times where it's like i forget shit from it Collecting rare and exquisite but honestly, it's just nice to like go back and visit that game, even if it is just for like a few days. All right, not really too much going on. Um, I think. One of the first things we did was come up here and run around. All right, I think we got everything in here. would be really cool if somehow, like, Dane showed up soon. <laughs> this storyline, I think, is probably the most interesting in the whole game. Because somehow they've made this character a super cool guy. He comes in, like, midway through. And then he's, like, heavily tied in with our sister, who most of the time we forget we're even looking for. <laughs> I wonder what the storyline for uh, Zoneless Zen Zeros is going to be. Because honestly, that game got, gives me like kind of the vibe of like Splatoon, like the main hub area of Splatoon, where you have just like a whole bunch of other characters running around in these crazy cool shops. Like that's the kind of shit I think of when I think of the uh, Zoneless Zen Zeros game. As well as, you know, cool anime people and kick-ass action. Uh, oh yeah, today was a Nintendo Direct where they were showing off a bunch of features for the upcoming uh, Mario game. Crap, I'm trying to blank on the name of the game! But the new 2D Mario. Like, give me one second. I can find it. I can find it! Things will actually load. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, so here's the thing. See, I just went on YouTube and I immediately just saw a video of like, someone who's never experienced One Piece is about to watch the live action for the first time. And it's just like, I can't even imagine what someone that has like zero exposure to One Piece will think of the live action. It's like, oh, it's just so hard to conceive of. Just because like, I've been a fan of One Piece since the 4Kids dub. And then, like, you know, the, like, two-year break where they had to, like, redub everything in the, uh, good way. <laughs> and not the shitty Americanized way. So it's like, oh my god, I can't even imagine what that will look like to someone. Uh, where was it? Wonder. Really? That's what it was? Fucking <laughs> Mario Brothers Wonder. Uh, they did a direct on that, showing off all the characters. Like, you can play as, like, a lot of characters, and they're kind of doing a almost, like, Dark Souls-esque multiplayer, where you can fight, where you can, like, play with, like, friends online, but your friends are more of, like, a phantom. So, like, in past Mario games, you could play with your friends, but your friends, like, you could interact with one another. So if someone could be a real dick and just, like, pick you up and chuck you off a cliff or something like that. But in this one, it's more like, oh, here's, like, time attack and, like, all these other cool things. They started showing off the different abilities, which it's more than just the elephant ability. There's actually a few others that they showed off and maybe more even on top of that. But, uh, yeah, it was actually pretty decent. It was solely focused on that Mario game, and at the end they showed off a new Red Mario Switch. I believe it's supposed to be an LED, the, the newer, like, LED or LCD screen. I can't remember which one it was. Like, the newest uh, iteration, the one with the brighter screen. It's supposed to be that version, I believe, but it's the Mario Red full setup. And, 
yeah, it, it was pretty good. Like, obviously, if you're into Mario, definitely check it out because they explain a lot of stuff, show off the character, show off the moves and stuff. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. And yeah, honestly, there's been a bunch of game trailers dropping recently, and I have not been able to keep up. I need to sit down and just, like, blast through a bunch of them. Because who knows, maybe I'll find some stuff that I'm really into that I didn't even know was coming out. But we already have a long list of games that I plan on playing on stream, so we'll see. I have been thinking about kicking up my amount of streaming. Just trying to find the right time to uh, start doing that. Like, like the right time in my daily life to uh, start putting in more hours. <laughs> Let's try to get through this. Sorry, I've really been slacking today. Jesus fuck. <laughs> we need to get through this, dude. Come on. We're already like almost an hour in. And we really haven't done much other than explore this area. Well, yeah, and apparently there... I, I don't know how recent this was. I just saw the video today. I didn't notice uh, the date of it. But it was fairly recently. There was a art exhibit in New York for a Genshin Impact that they put on. Which looked pretty cool. And it, it was like celebrate and it like... The main like gift bag and stuff everybody got had the uh new the, like the new characters that just dropped so i'm assuming it happened within the last month if not the last few days so genshin fans in new york go check it out Ooh. <laughs> if it's still going who knows it could have been a few weeks ago and it's already done like me Shit. <laughs> do you ever like wake up in the morning and think to yourself, okay, I have to do this thing. And then it's like six o'clock at night and you re just randomly remember, fuck, I meant to do that thing this morning. Aha! Damn it. Get it distracted by some bullshit. This kind of feels like a separate event that's happening here. Like, this definitely gives me, like, just an event vibe. Rick. Like, there fell like I had a nosebleed. <laughs> I can feel it! Ow! You know how to get along with him, Al.
And let's go into another conversation! That is one thing that I fucking hate in this game, where it's like, here's a conversation, now walk over here. It's another conversation! It's like, dude. Either cut it down so it's a cutscene, or give us actual things to do in between. <laughs> Even if it is something, like, basic, as long as it's like a 5 to 10 minute break. Of just like some sort of action stuff to do. Not necessarily fighting, like even like solving a puzzle or something. Or like traversing somewhere. Now those traversal ones are kind of hard because you can just easily like teleport usually. And I don't think I'm going to go back to the uh, fountain until we have the uh, next two offerings for the sigils. Just that way we can get the uh, we can get the wish and we can get the key. I think are the next two rewards. We can get both of those in one shot.
I'm gonna hype ourselves up a little bit there for that one. <laughs> All right. Well, actually, I don't think we even walked up to these doors. I'm like 90% sure they're locked, but still, I don't think we actually walked up to them. Alright, nothing. I'm sorry, I don't know if I, like, didn't, if I just, like, ignored the part where they said this, but I did not realize that the, uh, it was a humanoid, like, water being, I thought it was just going to be another animal. <laughs> like one cut slices them in half okay you win <laughs> Mori why are you doing this <laughs> oh, there's actually a lot more detail in her, too. I thought it was just going to be like a... When I saw it was human, I'm like, oh, okay. And then I just kind of assumed it would be basic. No, they, they got a full-on outfit and whatnot. Like, high detail. I thought it'd be more abstract human. Do I make so many assumptions? <laughs> Oh, hey, nice. I suppose this will do. No interaction whatsoever. Okay. 
Oh, whoa, wait, what? There's still one here that I just did not... How did I miss this one? Am I insane? I could have sworn we were already over here and got one. Okay, it's gotta be like way up there. Oh, wait, now it's not even here. It's not even showing up on the mini map. What the frick? What the hell? It was just on the mini map, and then when I went for it, it disappeared. There it is, right there. Oh, is it gonna take us right up to it? Probably. Okay, so three little areas that we have to solve to unlock that chest. With the big bubble. There's gotta be somewhere, but please tell me someone's made some fan art where it's like the whole... Where it's Traveler and Paimon, but with the, uh... With like the same dynamic as like... Kratos and his son. Oi. Bye, man. <laughs> All right, first we're going to... Okay. First, we need to do this. And second, we need to do this. Ah! Holy bits! Brick base. Alright, we're doing this the hard way. We could just try to get back up there, but instead we are going to climb. We're going to climb this wall. It's a very lovely wall. Other people can't climb this wall, but I can climb this wall. It's a nice wall that I can climb. I mean, these walls keep me safe. We'll need more where that came from. Oh yeah. <sighs> Interesting transfer. No. I still do not like X's up. Like, that is like against every fiber of my being to hit X to go up. When it comes to like three dimensional movement. There's still a long road. Oh my god. Okay, I need to slow down. Hey, there's an invisible wall. Hey, how do we deactivate? Alright, well, that tells me there's got to be something here that we can absorb the move from.
Unless I'm wrong. Wait, is there like nothing here that I can absorb a move from? There we go. This one's cool. Got the real Aquaman vibe. Oh, fuck me. Wow, those guys did a lot of damage. Although I don't like all the moves kind of require you to stop and aim a lot of the time. All right, there we go. Well, that's one. Two requires us to get in. Oh, okay. We need to be careful to not go too low. It's hard to tell depth. That one was much easier. <laughs> and now let's go back to the initial one. Ironically, we will do this one last. Um, wait, where was it? Oh, it was over here, right? Nope. Okay, I feel crazy. Where- wasn't it close by? Ah, oh my god. <laughs> yep. Look up. I believe that's also a high-level chest, which is the second one for today. I can never remember. They change it. How? I'll keep this close. I was gonna say, how many sigils do we get in the highest level chest here? Because at one point it was ten sigils. Oh, damn it. No, it moved. Mm. I was looking up at something when the thing popped. Yes. Damn you. Damn you straight to hell. So not worth it. It was a chest, you cheap bastards. It wouldn't be so bad if we got sigils from those, though. Oh, it's straight down. Oop. He just cuts into the scene. We pancake onto the ground. <laughs> just put them. Oh my god. Anyway.
I hate that. Animate it. Stop being lazy. You're a billion dollar game franchise. You can fucking animate things, dude. It's so obnoxious. <laughs> Here's what you do. You hire a person, have them build a shitload of stock animations for the main character and Paimon and like any characters that they'd interact with. That way you can make an easy cutscene where they actually have more movement in them. Like handing things over or I don't know, basic fight move things or stuff. This is definitely not where I thought this was where we were going to be at in this game today. <laughs> I thought I'd be playing mini games and shit and having to sit through dialogue talking about other random mechanicalized bullshit.
I'm surprised at how many steps this has, and it hasn't been like, oh, this part's completed, here's some rewards, and here's the next part. Like, usually they do that with, uh, I don't know, four or five, like, major cutscenes or something. No. Duh. Fuck. Once again. I'm trying to put main boy on. Or I needed him for that thing. Shit. Should have swapped him off. Guys, you all are useless. Water elementals fighting another water elemental. Like, nobody wins here. another one all right and these guys are just fucking blocking me up not cool bruh yeah they they really just don't really do anything oh, for fuck's sake As soon as we get out of this cutscene, I'm going to change characters just because the fucking... Once again, it's so annoying! It's a water area where everything's based on water, and then they give us water elementals to fight, which means the abilities they give us in this area is just so fucking useless. Unless we're on land. And even sometimes not even when we're on land, because the water elementals can also be on land. It's just like, fuck! That'd be like if we were in Inazuma and we can't fight the samurai when we have electric on, because all the samurai are electric based. That'd be so fucking dumb. It's like, then what's the point of giving us this ability if the new people you're giving us to fight, we can't even fight? I think that's why they gave us the robots to fight. Mostly on land. It'd be fucking ridiculous to have to fight nothing but water elementals here. <laughs> and I hope they introduce even more types when we get into, uh, when they open up this map more and they introduce the other areas. Hey, what's up? Going good. Just making our way through some of the side story stuff. This is taking vastly longer than I thought it was going to. I thought this would maybe take an hour tops. And we are coming up on two hours going through this. Which is fucking insane because I still need to finish up the event that's going on. Pretty sure I still have, I, th I think over, I think 10 days, probably. Yes, I did. I've been meaning to redo it. 
I made it a while ago. I'm just trying to settle on a good theme. Okay, so honestly, I'm not even 100% sure. Earlier they were talking about dragons and whatnot. Uh, honestly, I'd be surprised if you really did run into like the water dragon here. And it wasn't just like just a strong enemy or something. And the water dragon is something that will show up later. Got a blue door. Chance. We'll need more where that came from. And we are like completely locked in here, so we kind of just need to go forward. Quite a while. <laughs> but I only do it casually. Cutscene, kind of. Oh wait, are we still underwater? Sometimes it's hard to tell because there'll be like floating creatures with bubbles coming off of them, but we're above ground or like we're in an airspace. We're probably, yeah, we're probably in a good... Yeah, this place has like, this whole area has like uh, so many underwater ruins, it's... Kind of crazy. Like, I can't remember. I don't think we've heard about anyone mention, like, oh, there was, like, some sort of big upheaval at some point which caused all these ruins. We just kind of started exploring around and just kept finding more ruins underwater. Which, again, like, a lot of the motifs here, well, like, some of the motifs, like the hourglasses we found, are the same kind of things we found over in the desert area. Just like, what's going on? Or then there's also the whole, uh, the country that disappeared. Like, what happened with that one? Did it, like, explode and, like, these ruins are from there and they're just parts scattered all over? Although I think that only happened, like, 700 years ago, so... I think people would remember that one. Actually, now that I think about it, we don't really know too much about the country that disappeared in terms of, like, what were the other nations at the time? Or was it just one nation? It gets exploded, and after it gets exploded, it turned into all the different nations. I don't know if we've come across that. Since they are pretty sparse with that story over the last three years, it's hard to remember all the details that they gave us.
Yeah. Like I said, I just do it casually. Besides, I don't only stream on Twitch, I also stream on YouTube and whatnot. And sometimes when you do like affiliate programs, some of them are like, oh no, you can only stream like here. Stuff like that. Honestly, I haven't looked into the Twitch affiliate program in a while. I know that there was a change like, what was it, a year ago or something? Or even a few months ago. It changes all the time. Like small stuff, but I haven't looked into it in a while. Maybe the giant glowing lights on the floor is a clue. Jinkies. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> that was almost two hours. <laughs> we finally finished that up. Holy hell. I honestly thought that would be 30 minutes to an hour. That took way longer than I thought. Oh, well, actually, we could just pick up the bubbles. There we go. First, let's check out the rest of this room. Closed door. That doesn't really have any interaction with it. Doesn't look like there's any pickups or anything. Just the blue door, which I'm assuming takes us back to where we were. And there isn't any teleporters nearby or save points. Ooh, is that going to be just like a random, like, ex like limited sword? You've come across very few in the game where it's like, oh, you can only get this weapon. Like, like that one black sword we got where you can only get it by talking to that one NPC. It's a completely useless sword, but it's like a cool color variant. I really wish they did more of those. Just color variants in general. Or just like random pickups you can get that maybe aren't useful, but like maybe it adds some character to like a certain character or background NPC or something. The holy blade. It kind of looks rusty, but I can't tell if that's supposed to be rust or if that's like a coloring. Like just a, a different coloring for it. What do we got?
need to get inside that bubble. I really hope if we level it up, it starts doing significantly more damage. Just the little bullets. Like, it's got to. My and I still have yet to look up what is the good artifact set for main boy when he's in his water form. To definitely check that out. And that looks like the only way. All right. Whoa, hold on. We're passing like a whole floor there. We got flown all the way over here. I want to go back and double check to make sure we didn't miss like any chests or any extra doodads. What not? Oh, fuck, does this count? This counts as like a dungeon or something? Or no, it's just that wall. Weird. It was not letting me climb it. No. Biddies. Oh yeah, and like one of the big reasons why I, uh, sorry, I'm talking about this like five minutes ago. One of the reasons why I don't really am interested in looking into the affiliate stuff is just because of the whole, the ad setup for Twitch is not great and I really don't like it. And it's like, cool, I don't want to shove eight ads down people's fucking throats every 30 minutes. Like, no, nah, fuck off. And then how much do I get paid for that? Barely anything? No. How about no? I'd rather have my content just be free. Shit. Will her protect me? Okay, we need to find some sort of checkpoint at some point so that I can maybe take a break from this and we can go do something else because we're pretty far into this and there hasn't been a checkpoint since that big main room that we were in. And like, it's not that far of a run, but still, it's like, can we please find one soon or maybe return back to that big room soon? Because I was not expecting the full two hours to be this separate story. Once again, I don't know why they keep doing this. They keep like lengthening these, but they're just like not improving it in any way, shape or form. Like none of the stories are like more interesting just because they're two hours. This could have been an easy 30 minute quest, but you stretched it into like two hours long and it adds nothing to it. And it contrasts. It takes away way more than it gives just because it just becomes tiring and boring and not interesting. It doesn't maintain interest at all. I, I'm not seeing. Well, we got elevator, I'm assuming. Yep. Is it going to take me up to that library room or somewhere else? Oop, chest. I suppose this will do. Ooh, hello. What's that? Is that. A new artifact? Oh! Each one's gonna take us down a different path, so we're gonna open up all four doors, probably.
Bubble me. I don't get that though. Like, look at that one over there. On that one right there. It's not even within our radius, but it still counts as getting it. So then, what's the point of the radius if things just right outside of the radius still get affected? And expand the radius to where everything gets affected. Like, what's <laughs> what's the point of that? Just like up on the minimap, having that yellow circle be like, oh, it's somewhere in here. And then finding it like right outside the yellow circle. It's like, what's the point of giving us a radius if it's not... Like, just within the radius. Alright, no big surprise. It's mimicking. Rip it and rip it! Okay, it doesn't look like they are putting any kind of treasure chests behind us when we do this. So that's good. Oh, fudge. Retribution! Rain cutter! No, my sword! Huh? Take flight! Sakura swirl! Away. And it's interesting, the water thing is like weighted down. So it doesn't just kind of like float forward. It's like kind of uh, stuck to the ground. Where it's like with this, with uh, Deluke's Phoenix ability. Is. If you're on a clip and you shoot that, I think it also sticks to the ground, too. That's something I need to look into. Like, it floats above the ground, but I it stays, like, within a certain distance. I don't think it just straight flies off. Like, if you're on a hill or something, or, like, a s steep drop-off and you shoot it, I don't think it flies just straight forward. I think it follows the clip down. I need to test that out, actually. I don't think I've actually tested that out. Interesting. Why is this already deactivated? In fact, there's two. Huh. That's weird. Oh no, we need to get to class. All right, that one's complete. We are in a different room. It's just mirrored architecture. All right. Honestly, this week has not been that great. I don't know why. It's just like everything just has felt so freaking boring all week. <laughs> and today I just feel like I just want to chill and play some Call of Duty. <laughs> I haven't I have not streamed Call of Duty in forever. I don't think I've streamed Call of Duty since I've started doing daily streams. That's how long ago it was over. 1,094 days ago was the last time I streamed Warzone, and it was Warzone 1. Which, honestly, I missed the map from Warzone 1. I wish that he would port it over into Warzone 2. It's an optional map. That'd be fucking sick. Which, that's always something that kind of drove me crazy. With, like, uh... Certain franchises, like, it would continue forward, so obviously bring us new maps, but it's like, you could also just bring us old, like, the old maps too. Like, sometimes they do that in Call of Duty, but it's like, why not? You have a massive library of, uh, maps. And yeah, maybe the texture's not the best on the older ones, because it's older, but 
maybe work on like retexturing what parts you can easily and then just like let it be, be like it's a og map it's a classic map shit i do not get these that often and i really need someone to come into my world and help me because there's a simple trophy a simple treasure chest to get but you need to have two people to get it and every time someone asks to come into my world it's always at the worst possible time god damn it it's the uh heart the stone heart treasure chest on an island in leeway there's a stone heart on the ground and you have to stand in it two people have to stand in it one of each gender uh a girl and a guy and then a treasure chest will pop up which i believe there's a trophy slash achievement for that which I think that's the only thing keeping me from 100%ing one of the achievement blocks is that one. As well as the main, the base game too. I think I can get the platinum trophy for it. I think that's the only trophy left that I need to get is that one, I think. I haven't checked it in a while. But it drives me crazy whenever they tie something important to co-op. It's like, why? It's like back in the day when they were first doing trophies there were some games that were so fucking broken where like they tie stuff to like the multiplayer or co-op um what was it i think friday the 13th had one that was just that had some trophies that were fucking insane to get which involved playing hundreds of hours of that game shit be crazy yo okay is there even a point to killing these guys i don't think there is all right, let's see. We're going to leave those two alive, see if there's anything different. Yeah, it was weird. The uh... We're going to fight, yeah, three of these guys. And then beyond here, there should be a room with those bubbles we need to deactivate. We deactivated it in room one, but then in room two, they were already turned off. Looks like I wonder why. Whoop. Water jet. Rain outlines your face. Take flight. This was a waste to do it on him. <laughs> bruh. We're going down, bro, bro. Witness the power of Gua. Go. Wipe out. Wipe out. They should have done the homage to this song. <laughs> When he does wipe out. Someone. I wonder how easy it is to mod this game. For PC. Like I know like modding. Relatively I mean. I know re modding things relatively. That's like a solo game is easy. But I wonder when it's like a. More of a live game like this. If it's harder to do. I don't know a lot about modding. <laughs> Whirling snow. Nice. I shall treasure three sigils from the upper treasure chest. Upper level. Yeah, and once again, these are all turned off. What the heck? In the first room. Ah. Huh. I wonder why. Alright, this was the third. It's either going to end here or there's going to be one more loop. Oh, wait, whoa, what? Wait, hold on, wait. Oh, dude, this is room one? Shit, wait, what? Hold on. Shit. What is this? Did we just accidentally find this or are we supposed to be here? 
This looks like an extra room. Okay, we're gonna enter the blue door and see what happens. Maybe it will take us back out before we even got into the library. But maybe not. What's it say? It just says enter. What is this? Oh, it just takes us back to the very beginning! Fuck! That's not great. That's not great at all. Oh shit, that's what that was! Oh my god! I was wondering, that popped up and I'm like, oh, is that a new... Oh, it is supposed to be rusted. A new, uh... Artifact, I thought. But I don't know, it just felt kind of off. Maybe because it was so low level? So it was a key. Hmm... What could it be? What could it mean? It'd be cool if when we grabbed it, it would like, you know, repair itself. Holy blade. Okay, let's check this out. Let's see if it's an actual weapon or is it more of an item? Alright, that's it. Wait, I also have to get all the uh, achievements for the uh, TCG. It's not that hard to do it. I just, like, haven't been focusing on it. So we have not played in quite a while. Um, where were we? Weapons. Oh, no, it's... Oh, no, okay, we got three of those. Oh, my God, we don't even have 30? I thought we had at least 30 of that. Shit. Okay. Okay, it doesn't look like anywhere else. Okay, it's got to be in weapons then. Wasn't it a gray? Shit. And it's... How insane would it be if it was a five star? It looks like a piece of shit. The heck is it? Alright, um... Not in here anywhere. Ah, there it is. Okay. Alright, so not an actual weapon. Actually, yeah, let's continue this backtrack because maybe we also picked up another key item uh, for the other. Like, each time we pass through, the bubble is always locked up. So maybe if we rerun it, We'll be good. Okay, that's the door we re-entered in. It's not here. Maybe we have to drop down and use the other one. There's no response. Hear a sound. Okay. I must elevate. Okay, one second. Yeah, I need to stand up. Yeah. <laughs> a blade is like a tea leaf. Only those who sample it many times can appreciate its true qualities. That's why the poor don't deserve the tea. Because they can't afford it! <laughs> it's like, whoa! <laughs> kind of taking a dark turn there, buddy. <sighs> I swear to God, is it four? Or where are we? Okay, this has to be the second room. Based on that elevator. Yeah, this is crazy. This totally feels like more of an event situation. Although, again, like, uh... We had those Earth... 
not Earth. We had like those little plant elemental dudes in Sumeru. Maybe this is the equivalent for this area. Where it's like, wow, this should probably be voice acted because it's very long and seemingly somewhat important. But yet, no. I'm just going to check something real quick. Yeah, it only makes, you know, $86 million per month. It's not like they could avoid spending, I don't know, however much it costs to hire a voice actor. I'm pretty sure it's nowhere in the ballpark of millions of dollars, so I'm pretty sure they could afford that. You know, whatever. There's... <laughs> Betterness! Oh, and don't worry, these are updated numbers from June. <laughs> of this year. And it's only on average too, so some months it's higher. What's the number one game? Let's see here. Oh, those are app-based. Fuck that. Honor of Kings is a mobile game that's above Genshin Impact. I've never heard of that game in my life. <laughs> Pokemon Go is still in the top, like, five of games that earn monthly. That's insane. That's insane. embraces its duty as a jeweler cherishes their gems. All right, so... Looks like nothing else changed. Still got a water door. Those have two little bobbles at it that were already turned on. So yeah, this is floor two. Which means we should be able to go and unlock this. Wait, am I wrong? Was there... There was another water shield one, wasn't there? Oh, maybe it was floor three. Another door here. Would this return us to the very start? And it's interesting it's pointed in that direction and not where we came in. I'm not going to take that door. We're going to continue on to floor three. Oh, it's telling us to take that door. Well, first we're going to take this up and then we'll come back down. Oh, okay. For a second I'm like, shit, it's not letting us. It just took a minute to pop on. All right. And then we'll be in room three. Yeah, I think the blue door would have taken us here. Okay, so I think we have to have the holy blade on us and that will unlock the next one.
Holy shit. <laughs> that is a long path. What the hell? No. What? What the fuck is going on? There is definitely a shield here. Shit. God. Fuck! It takes us back to floor one? Okay, well, that's apparently where we're supposed to go. So, wait. <sighs> this is so weird and confusing. So, the room direct... So, this room is different based on how many of these there are. And then the room in front of us apparently is the same room with the giant sword. And then all the rooms after that are different based on how many numbers of enemies. That's so weird. I thought it was just mirrored architecture, but it's not. There's one. Okay, so we are going up different levels. Two. But then that doesn't explain the next room where the sword would be. There were other force fields there before with other objects we needed to pick up. The fuck built this place? <laughs> Why did you make it a confusing labyrinth? Just put it in a set of stairs! With clearly marked floors, you dick! I was stuck in this library for 40 years. Not fit for the outside world anymore. Here we go. This is a boss fight room, if I've ever seen one. It was a one-way force field. Okay, what are we fighting here? Ah! Oh, yeah, I forgot. These guys count as dragons. I forgot about that. Even though they totally should not. Maybe a dragoon of some sort, but not a dragon. Oh, and we have two water characters. Fuck. Neither of which can heal, so they're completely useless. This is not good. My apologies. God damn it, squirrel. God damn it, another one? You're not even cycling through all the animals. You're just redoing previous. God damn it, and none of them have any kind of heal ability. Shit. We are so fucked. <laughs> Unless we do it the slow way, which sucks. Damn it, 
squirrel is bad. That's because they can jump out of the way so easily. Ugh. And let me guess, he's gonna do that again once he's like a quarter health. Hello? Let me guess, he's gonna do... We've seen this happen before. This is actually a rarer move. I think there was an event that happened in Leeway where we fought one of these guys that did this move. Oh, we actually got some heal from that somehow. Yep, invincible. Oh, so many fucking invincible people. When it comes to our basic ass shit, it is not cool, bro. My apologies. Out out. So there we go, 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 there we go. Please just take him out, take him out, take him out. Yee. Yeah, we could not sustain that fight for much longer. Our, both of the characters were like sliver of health. Holy shit. Luckily, we could alt fast for both of them. So lucky. And yeah. It pains me to swap out for main boy because I like always have an Oman, but like, he is so fucking useless in this entire area. It's just like, such a bummer. I mean... I thought it was a bummer when we went to Leeway and we got his ability there, where that was just, like, useless and, uh, it's not really fun to use or interesting. Here it's useless and, uh, literally most of your enemies you fight don't even take much damage or will even take any damage from you. So it's like, bro, come on. This should be lame, yo. Right. We'll need more where that came from. Wait, was that literally... Okay, there it is. Really? Uh, okay. I think we now have 30 sigils. And like I said, I wanted to get 60. Just so we could get to both levels. And yeah, we're swapping off main boy because he's fucking trash right now. I'm here. We'll go with Chi-Chi just so... She can at least combo a bit while she heals. Are we going inside the picture book? That'd be cool. And not really the weirdest thing that ever happened to us. Act 3. Are you sure? Okay, I need to check the event page. If this isn't some other event.
Okay, we got 50 Primo Gem. We also got another those. Yep, that's it. Um, quest. That's the main story. This I thought was for. <sighs> Fuck! It's these down here. It's ten days. God damn it! I thought this one was the one that we were going to do, and I thought it was super weird that it was off in the distance. So, but I was like, whatever. We had that one diver guy that was part of it, and he was like out there. So, fuck. Let's just hope this is a three-parter and nothing more. Go. Sucks. We have. Oh, oh, that's the gruel. That was like in pure water form. And in fact, it's uh, what's her face? The summertime event. We ran into all those people that were like blue hair and blue eyed. And it turns out they were um. One of those water dragons, but they were in like a phys human physical form disguise. So maybe she's the dragon. Which now that that's a precedent, maybe we'll run into other elemental ones. Because like, we've seen those dragon types of all the different elements. And now we know they can take on like humanoid forms. So maybe we'll find some of those. And in fact, why don't we get like a playable character? That's like that, where it's like, oh, they're one of those dragons, but this is their human form. And then when they alt, they do a temporary change into their dragon form. That would be fucking sick. That would be a really cool idea for a character. Here's what it is. Shitload of talking, they'll give us something to do, and then a shitload of talking, and then an hour and a half is gone, and that's the end of chapter three. Th that's my predictions for this. <laughs> or maybe it will just be a shitload of talking for an hour and a half straight. Yay. Wouldn't that be uh, fun and interesting? And kind of weird, we're coming across this, like, we played, uh... Uh, the Witcher 3 not too long ago, and there's a really fun part of the quest where you go inside of a storybook for the uh, um, Blood and Wine DLC for that game. And like that immediately just jumped to my mind when we did that here. Just like whenever I think of jumping into a painting in a video game, I'll always think of Dark Souls 1 or Oblivion. Where Oblivion did like, I think they went a little bit harder on changing the graphics to be more of a painterly art style when they went into the painting. And there's the bell we've been hearing. Paimon enjoys the snacks. Surprise. literally locked into walking. Okay. Let's see here. It's literally, let's walk literally five feet. <laughs> Dude. Oh yeah, and I'm also getting really amped up on the uh, armored core that just came out. 
God, it looks so freaking good. And Vati started posting some on it, so it's like, ah, he... he usually posts on like you know, um, from software games, usually the Souls games. But it's like, yeah, I should really give this one a shot because I believe I tried one of the armored cores like forever ago on like Xbox 360. And I didn't really have a lot of time with it. But I don't know. Games where it's like... Okay, here's the main menu. And then you go into a mission. And that's where like that level is. It's not like you're traversing to an area to do a mission. You're just like in menus. When you start the mission, you're just in that area. Until the mission is complete. Kind of thing. I'm not a big fan of that kind of game layout. But who knows? Maybe they do something interesting with that. But yeah, obviously the combat, the visuals look amazing. The story I haven't heard too much on, but what little I've heard, I've heard it was uh, good. So we'll see. So I have an eye on that one. When it comes down in price, I'll pick it up. Just because I haven't really done an armored core before, I'm willing to wait on it. And, dude, it's so heartbreaking that we have not heard anything on, like, Elden Ring DLC. I don't know if they will do DLC. I'd be perfectly okay if they never did, but it's just, like, will they, won't they kind of feeling. Even though it's been, like, a year. The only DLC they've done was, like, adding the stadium. Like, the arena fights, which I have not done. I have not jumped back in since we beat it on stream. Yeah. A lot of the, uh, not even grinding, but just like finding more treasure chests, getting more sigils and stuff I wanted to do today. Just like all of that got thrown out the window when we did this. But I just hope this gives us an ability that we'll be able to use in other parts of this area, which we haven't really come across anything that's really lo heavily locked off. I just needed to learn how to like solve these little puzzles all around. Unlike in Sameru, where it's like, cool, here's a puzzle, but you'll never be able to solve it until you complete this other quest. It's like, so far we haven't really run into any of that. Unless it's like one specific puzzle specifically for a quest. Which, like, I appreciate that they cut back on that, because that really killed a lot of the exploration in Sameru. Because it's like... Why explore all these areas if I can't do any of these things because I need some special item from another quest before I can even do it. So that makes the exploration just completely useless. Because there's no point in having like 50 million chests and half of them you can't get to because you need some special item or ability. Because I don't want to, like, I love exploring, but I don't want to be forcibly, like, force myself to, like, have to re-explore an entire area like a second or even third time just because we got a new ability that's a little annoying especially since the areas can be pretty big and hard to get around whether it's vertical or not I swear to Christ, if we walk five feet and then just have another conversation, I'm gonna fucking drop kick you through the waterfall. I will suplex you through your tea table, lady. And it's like, we can't even keep up with the walk animation because... Where is it? Oh, it's not doing it. I was gonna say she slightly walks faster than us, so it's like every so often we have to do a, a quick run to catch up. It's like, nah, just lock it in to walk. We don't need... 
Okay, there we go. What's going on? I thought it was gonna be like, we have to go out and feed them. You, you realize this is not a talk, right? <laughs> enjoyed all our time together like the time we drank tea or that time we took a short walk and then talked or that other time where we took a short walk and then fed a dog that was a pig all those great times that happened within the last 20 minutes oh my life's been great <laughs>
Okay, this is getting like way too like quote unquote real real with the story. You know what I mean? It's like Chill you're in a fucking waifu video game. It doesn't need to get this real. All right Especially if you're consigned to just like a fucking C tier storyline Like you don't have to hit this hard with it <laughs> Like, if this was, like, part of the main story or, like, a subcategory of the main story where there was actual voice acting and real drama and passion behind it, that'd be cool. But this just feels flat. Just like many of the side stories and side quests feel flat. More side quests doesn't mean it's a better game. Surprise! Shock and awe. I'm just gonna flood the library. Oh, are we getting uh, ejected out? The worst part is we can't even use our like fast swim ability, so we could move even faster. We're at max speed as it is. And we're probably gonna go back up to the surface, right? Oh no, we're coming back out here. Oh, okay. Are we gonna tell everyone what happened? Because it wouldn't be surprising if everyone came in here, but like, what happened? Cool, let us explain everything that just happened. And you know what? Everyone go outside except for one of you. We're going to explain it to you individually. So we have even more dialogue. Isn't that great? I fucking hate this game sometimes. I seriously think that they do whatever they need to just stretch out shit as far as humanly possible. Isn't this natural sounding dialogue? The dialogue that I am saying? Comma. What I am currently saying now? Exclamation point. No. It sounds like you added a lot of extra lines there when you could have just said something very direct and simply. <laughs> and still no update on the fucking anime either. It's like, what the hell's going on with that? It's been over a year, about a year and a half. Zero update on it. You'd think that they'd want to share, like, oh, we're almost, like, halfway done or something. Or, like, have, like, some sort of clip to show off. It'd be like, here's what the animation should look like. Here's, like, a single cutscene or something. So I was wrong. He was just talking into more talking into more talking into even more talking. It's like... <sighs> you seriously... Like, come on. You're a how many billion dollar game? 
You need to figure out how to tell a fucking story that's just not cutscene after cutscene after cutscene after cutscene. Just make the fucking anime already. And then stop the game. Because clearly that's all you want to do. Since you're trying so hard to make this feel like it's just nothing but an anime. Where gameplay is just secondary when it comes to like a lot of this story. It's just annoying. He's like, that's the part of the video game medium. You're supposed to interweave, like, interactions, puzzle solving, fighting, like, whatever kind of game you have, in with the story. Don't just make it massive chunks of story beats. We'll need more where that came from. And guess what? Walking a foot to have just another five minute cutscene doesn't fucking count as gameplay, bro. All right? If you were a walking simulator, okay. But guess what? That's not what this game is. Alright, well, we got that completed. Side quest. I don't even know how we picked up that side quest. Zero idea how we got it. <laughs> But yeah, clearly we weren't able to really do any treasure chesting and stuff. I wanted to have 60 before we went to the fountain again, but clearly we could not do that today. So we'll just turn in what we got, get what we can. And that will be it for today. We're already over by almost an hour, so I just wanted to finish that up because I really didn't want to have to continue that. Oh, we're actually getting two of those. Okay, that's nice. I thought we were just going to get one. And I wonder how this fountain's gonna change. Is it just gonna become more bombastic <laughs> once we like fill it all the way up? Sweet, so we got two more of those. So I think we have six of these now. We can almost do a 10 drop alone on just these. Which wouldn't be that bad. And then yeah, the key for the next one. And it will give us a high level chest and the high level chest will give us 10 sigils. So that's already like one third of the way there. And then, ooh, we'll get two of these as well. I can't remember. Did we always get two? Or did they only give us one before? I can't remember. Wow, they're actually doing pretty good with giving us wishes pretty frequently. Yeah, here to here is probably the biggest gap. And they do give us this at the very least. Yeah, they're doing pretty good at giving us some consistent wishes. Nice. All right. But yeah, uh, let's, let's grab this, and then also grab whatever's in here. Ten, should have been twenty. Who's to say? Me. I would definitely say yes. Um, unlock all teleport waypoints. Oh, we're super close. Wow, wait, no, we're not. Well, we are super close overall, but... There's quite a few more than I thought. I thought there was like maybe three or four left. There's even more than that. Holy shit. And that's just in this first area, let alone whatever parts they add on. Um, okay, Let's just check wishes super quick. Uh, we're almost at 5,000. Nice. Uh, we got 200 of those. And yeah, we have got six of those. And we already seen there's another two that we can get by doing the fountain. So we could probably get that up to eight plus um, whatever other thing we end up doing, which we'll probably earn some of those as well. Which I'm trying to think, I can't remember how many is it for a full 10 drop out of just using Primo Gem. Isn't it like 160 something? Can't remember. But let's just say it's, uh, I think it's 160. So. Doing some quick maths. And some stuff. Actually, we already have two of those wishes, so that probably... 112. Oh, wait, what? No. Oh my god, idiot. No decimal. Why did you keep a decimal? Uh, 
times. No, not times. What am I? What am I doing today? My brain is mush. Okay, so we're like right around having three wishes with just Primo Gem alone. And then if we get that all the way up to 10, that will be uh, 40 wishes right there. Which the odds are getting way better. So hopefully we'll be able to earn a bunch more Primo Gem and get at least four 10 drops just on Primo Gem alone. Plus, oh yeah, we're also going to get two more of these wishes as well. Or like both, both kinds. Who knows? Maybe if we hit the treasure chest hunting hard, we could get pretty far in the uh, um, fountain and we just get a bunch of those. Bring the Knights of Favonius with you next time. Yeah, that is it for today. I'm going to check events. This is still going on for 10 more days. So yeah, next week we're going to have to hit this hard. This is going to be the only thing we're really going to focus on. Uh, we only got that. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, okay. We have to get those. Yeah, these are just fights. These one, these I actually will probably just do off stream. Like, we already did the first one, and it's literally go there, do fight. So, I'm not going to do that on stream. So, I'll do these off stream. Uh, we have yet to do this. So, we will continue with the uh, story for the events, complete that, and then we'll do whatever this is. So that is the plan for next time, which will be on next Tuesday. Tomorrow is going to be Shadow of the Colossus. We're going to finish that up tomorrow. That's the plan for that. And then this weekend, we're going to be continuing Death's Door. See how that goes. I still have no idea. I really feel like even if we quote unquote beat the game, there'll still be like extra bosses and shit to do. So we'll probably try to focus on doing like the extra stuff now before we end up beating the game completely. Uh, so we'll try to do that this weekend. Uh, we're a good way through. We're up to like the third soul that we're supposed to get boss soul um maybe we'll continue forward with that see how far we get into there and uh yeah on monday we should if we complete shadow of the classes on friday which i don't see why we wouldn't on monday we're gonna start legend of zelda tears of the kingdom which i already have installed and updated i'll double check that on monday when we get that started and yeah we'll get into that and see how that goes hopefully like my biggest complaint was like the world felt super empty and honestly, not a lot of stuff to do. So hopefully that's fixed up. Hopefully we do get more interactions with other characters. Because honestly, it felt like the most meaningful interactions in that entire game of Breath of the Wild was all flashbacks and memories. It felt like most of the people in the modern day just that did nothing. Like, Impa kind of helped us. She's probably the one that we interacted the most with. Which was like a fucking bummer. Because it's like, here's an old lady sitting on, like, a fucking pillow, and she's going to tell you some shit. And then the rest is memories. and Or the king at the beginning, at the very beginning of the game. It's just, like, such a massive lack of character interaction. But uh, I really hope that is fixed in the next game. Anyway, that's the plan for the next couple of days. Like I said, the next time we play Genshin will be next Tuesday. That's the end of day 1094 of streaming in a row. Like always, links down below for my Twitter and my YouTube, where all my previous streams are uploaded and archived over there. And I'll catch you all tomorrow with the end of Shadow of our Shadow of the Classes playthrough, the uh, 2018 version, the, re the uh, Blue Point remake, which I fucking love. That game is perfection. But yeah, that is it for today, and I will catch you all tomorrow. See ya.